All right, y'all. I would truly appreciate it if you guys have any tips or tricks on how to heal something like this. Now, I feel for this crater. I feel really bad whenever someone has trauma to the face because you're at risk of having a permanent scar, especially if the wound goes down into the second layer of skin called the dermis. So as soon as you get that cut, use soap and water to clean it. Don't use rubbing alcohol or hydrogen peroxide. You can also consider a hypochlorous acid spray. This is by Active. No, this would not destroy healthy skin cells or the tissue that's trying to heal your wound nice and gentle and actually in studies it shows that it might help promote wound healing. Next you want to keep your cut moist. One of the worst things you can do is dry out your cut and get a big nasty scab over it. Scabs will inhibit good cells from coming in. You want to cover your cut immediately with Vaseline or Aquaphor. One of my favorite products after a procedure, after an injury, is La Roche-Posay Cicoplast Balm B5. It has madocasticide, panthenol, and shea butter. You can use this at bedtime before going to sleep over your well-formed scar. And they've also made a sunscreen version. So during the day, you can apply this SPF 50 form and you still get the madocasticide panthenol benefits. We want to protect our scars from hyperpigmentation as much as possible, especially if you're skin of color. So wear your sunscreen every day. It takes about nine to 12 months for a scar to fully mature. After that, if you want to revise it, then you can start talking to a dermatologist or plastic surgeon about procedures, including devices. Hope this helps. Take care. Peace.